New at 10, doctors told an Austin man they needed to amputate his legs after gangrene destroyed his feet. But a former University of Texas kicker had a different plan, and it changed the man's life. Diego Cardona doesn't mind mowing the lawn these days. He almost lost his legs and his life. Well, at first I didn't have any symptoms. It all started with a little fever. One day I woke up and I got really, uh, I, I got some pain in my ankle so I couldn't even walk anymore. Concerned, his boss asked a co-worker to check on him. When she came and saw me being in, in, in so much pain and, 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 and I guess my uh, expressions can tell that I really needed to go to the hospital. Diego was rushed to the hospital. He quickly lost consciousness. The last thing I remember is for them to ask me, where do you leave? Who, who's your main contact? Doctors didn't think he was going to survive. The doctors came to my family and they told them, he just, you, just gonna, you better say goodbye. He's not going to make it. This is the last night he's going to be here with us. Bacterial meningitis ravaged his body. Doctors tried to keep the blood pumping through his vital organs, so his extremities paid the price. Gangrene started eating his feet. My toes were dead completely. After 10 days in a coma, Diego woke up. I started looking around. I noticed that I was in the hospital. Obviously, I didn't know what happened. Then he looked at his feet. They were completely burnt out, completely burnt. Like the whole feet was black. Doctors said they would have to amputate from the knee down. The news was devastating. I have to prepare myself mentally because obviously at first I, I cried. But his primary care doctor urged him to get a second opinion from a foot specialist, Dr. Chris Stockton. The name may sound familiar. Dr. Stockton knows a few things about feet. He used one of his to help the University of Texas win a few big games. A hold by Applewhite here is the kick by Stockton. He got plenty of distance and it is good. These are Diego's feet when he came to me in my clinic. You can see the level of gangrene. Dr. Stockton told Diego he could save his legs. It takes a special amputation right in front of the ankle joint, basically. And um, I mean, I, I was hopeful that I could do it on both sides and save some weight bearing ability on his feet. He can actually walk on them barefoot. Dr. Stockton says patients should always ask for a second opinion when it comes to amputations especially diabetic patients. Limb salvage is a great option that no, not many surgeons are doing. In the past, it got kind of a bad name because and people, it fell out of favor, basically. People weren't doing it correctly, and they're harder to do, and they require more knowledge of balancing the tendons and such. Um, but they can make a huge difference in someone li someone's life. There was a moment that you thought maybe you'd never be walking again. Oh, absolutely. I mean, after the operation, I didn't know what to expect. Now, months later, Diego is living his life again. I might not be running or I might not be dancing, but it's just like things that you don't have to do. And, but I'm, I'm back to work. I'm back to the gym. And back to mowing the lawn. I'm back to do my normal life. And I'm really, really grateful for that. I have a feeling Diego will be dancing again. <laughs> Diego's procedure is called a choke parts amputation. Dr. Stockton says this can be an option for some diabetics facing amputation as well.